viewers. Apologies as usual for the terrible appearance, but it was a, a bit of a late one. Anyway, I am driving my own car, my 2010 Porsche 911 997 Gen 2 C2S, and it's the first time I've driven it this year. Now there's good reason for this, I was away at the beginning of the year, then I went to Japan for three months to make my forthcoming series for Amazon plug, and then I went away to make the Grand Tour special, and so it goes on. I haven't driven the Porsche, but it has been driven in that time. I arranged for a friend to go around and take it out of the garage, to take it for his MOT, which he did. He crashed it into a wall, and that cost me many thousands of pounds to put right, but hey, these things happen, and what is it between friends? So I'm not going to mention any names. But it was my mate Colin. Anyway, here's the thing, the 2010... <laughs> which I've had from you and has done 28,273 miles. It is like new, it still smells nice, which is remarkable considering it's got me in it. And isn't it old fashioned in here? I mean, you have to change the gears by yourself. Um, you have to use your left leg all the time. The sat nav screen, look at that, that is pathetic. I'll show you a picture of that in, in a minute. That screen is smaller than the pop up menu on a Tesla. Doesn't have a reversing camera, doesn't have parking radar, doesn't have any buttons on the steering wheel, doesn't have adaptive cruise control, doesn't have anything really. It's like a classic car. Right, I'm now joining the A303 towards 15th century England, so this could get a little bit more interesting. spent all night editing that as you can probably tell and now I discover that we've just got to half a million YouTube subscribers and I should have mentioned that um, so anyway I'll mention it now we're now at half a million YouTube subscribers yo subscribe like comment